Well, look where she picked up the ball. She's still running with it. I better take a look. <laughs> Maybe she's at Blanche's. Here we are. What is this I am attempting to eat? Is this a, a breaded Viennese cutlet? I got it out of the cookbook. You forgot to remove the cover. <laughs> Your constant complaints. What happened to the warm, kind, romantic man I married? Practically everything. <laughs> You. you are the most. I feel like a cad spying on their love life. <laughs> be gracious with Ronnie. George, have you got me on that silly television set of yours? That's right, Jack. But I'm not on tonight. I'm on Sunday night. I know, but my set is a day slow. <laughs> oh. Well, as, as long as I'm here, my fee for a guest appearance is... Now, cut that out. Remember, if he sues me, you didn't see him. I can't afford it. Grace, he must be at Blanche's now. But don't you understand? Brian's father's here from Texas, and if the poor boy doesn't graduate, it'll be awful. But, but what can you do? Well, I know I've got a wonderful idea, but I can't think of it. Well, maybe I can help you think of something. You know what they say, two heads are better than one. In this particular case, I don't believe they are even the equivalent of one. <laughs> well, why don't you help us? With four heads, we can't miss. Blanche, dear, your sense of humor is like a figure. Even when it reaches a point, it is never in the right place. to enjoy fighting, but couldn't you help me with Brian and then go back to it? Gracie, I have no sympathy for a poor student. At dear old Dartmouth, I graduated with honors. In fact, I finished a six-year course in just four years. Oh, my. Imagine being smart enough to be able to play hooky for two years and still graduate. Gracie, as a matter of record, I did not miss one day of college, with the exception of the day of my graduation. You didn't graduate. Of course I did. However, due to an unfortunate accident, I was unable to attend. You see, the night before my graduation, I was practicing walking with my cap and gown. However, the gown happened to be a trifle too long, and I tripped over the hem and broke my leg. <laughs> I failed to see anything humorous in that? You know, every time I see that cap and gown in the attic, I have to laugh. <laughs> but I did not miss my graduation. The dean was so impressed with my scholastic achievements that he presented me with my diploma at a private graduation ceremony at my bedside with just the immediate family in attendance. Oh, you were in bed with a broken leg, but the dean gave you your diploma in front of your family? That is correct. Well, thank you, Harry Martin. <laughs> I knew I had a wonderful idea, and I knew you'd think of it. Well, it looks like we're going to have another bedside graduation. I'll let the story keep rolling along, and when I think it's time to lock up the show, I'll walk in with Professor Clinton and let him hand the boy the diploma. Hmm.